I ain't gonna lie. That game should have been that close. But it was at first. But then, you know, it happened. Southside did what Southside does a lot. Give up points. That's exactly what happened. And I called it. I called it. Sort of. Uh, my score prediction was 56 for 10. I got I got the 10 right. I knew Southside wouldn't go score a tough points. But at least I got that right. Uh, it was a decent game. Had some good moments. O-line got to improve. But the defense held it down without LT. Uh, if y'all don't know, LT out for the rest of the season. So, uh, our DBs got to step up. And we're only playing four DBs right now. So, it might be tough. Down the road, might be tough. But like I said in my preview video, man, the third one is always the toughest. For example, uh, oh, when you're trying to do something that, you ain't, that never happened in school history, it's tough. Uh, like adding a car. I know they got the ass with my camera crew last year. Trying with a fit straight. Fit straight. Fit straight. Fit straight. Straight. Fit straight. State title. Uh, I mean, look at LC. They just got blown out. Sort of by Catholic BR. They trying to win their fit, their fit straight title. Uh, look, Karen Crow trying to go back to back for the first time in school history. They having problems. They are. They're like two and two. Uh, lost to overrated Rustin team. Uh, look at look at STM. They lost to overrated ST uh, Rustin team. They're currently one and three, if I'm not mistaken. Or they're two and two. They're two and two. After blowouts, they lost against uh, Alexandria, who in my in in my opinion, guys, I'm scared to play Alexandria this year. <clears throat> look at Kadiana. They're struggling sort of this season. I'm trying to go do a 3P. They struggling. Uh, trying to make school history is always the toughest. 2015 when they're trying to go uh, 3P. Got blown out by Parkway. Third one is always the toughest. Yeah, let's get into this game. I'll let you know what I think about the game. I was going to rant, but I'm not. Besides, I played a good game. I will say that even though the defense is not, not that good. But I will say this. The south side, if Coach Fidel could ever get a defense, south side, we got a chance to make a run in the playoffs. That's my opinion. But uh, first quarter went something like this. Kicked it off to the south side first. And for some reason, on the first play, we ran a hook and lateral. That was not a good idea. That wasn't a good idea, in my opinion. Because some teams won't be expecting that later on. Southside looked like they was expecting that, the hook and lateral. They looked like they was well prepared for that. Then a 30-plus yard run by Keevan. Uh, Keevan could have had five touchdowns tonight. Just to let y'all know. When I was watching the game live, he could have had five touchdowns. But one, he got tripped up. Two of them got tripped up. And the third one, he, he uh, it was just when he got tripped up on. He could have scored. But he got tripped up and then we fumbled. And Zay Mouton, former Kitty and linebacker, recovered it. Uh, Kitty and after a three and out, a big run by Wiggins got a first down. Then Russell, man, Russell, bro, the fresh man, who's a freshman, just playing like he, he probably, he's probably other. He's probably a kid in his third best, third best offensive player this season, dog. He's just a freshman. He had a good, he had a good night. I'm not even gonna lie, man. He had a good run for a first down. But the baby sharks do 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 south side stop getting on fourth down. Uh, 
But the Baby Sharks of Southside, when they got the ball back, their running back he had a big he had a big run. And I thought he was gonna score, but Dez, he stopped him on that. And thanks to Dez, it wasn't a touchdown. It wasn't a touchdown. And KDM was able to only give up a field goal. By good kick of my ass. Uh, I think I think it was Braxton Gilbo, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's his name. Kickoff to Katie Yano, returned by Jeremiah. I really missed the ball in his hands, bro. Really missed the man. Greatest quarterback in the Katie Yano history. Uh, and Kieran, again, had another almost touchdown. To end the first quarter, a score I didn't expect. Katie Yano, zero, South Tide, three. To end the first quarter. Did not expect that. But then, Coach K come up with somebody I've never seen in my life. Kidding in a running back screen. That's going to be key throughout this season, dog. Pass up Aiden to Wiggins for a touchdown on that play. PET good by Aiden. You have to Aiden. Someone who I said was going to be a good kicker two years before. I knew he was a, well, a year before. He used to be a kicker. You can't call me a D-rider because I knew Aiden was going to be a good kicker before I even seen him kick. Well, he had two years. Two years. Because he, he played, he was on varsity. But he got two rings because they moved him up to varsity when he was a freshman. And they went undefeated. I just knew he was going to be a good kicker. And the kid, he had to do something, doing something that he should have done last year. He used all three kickers. And in this game, they used Aiden for the uh, PATs and field goals. And they needed field goals, and didn't. Hastings for point, and Zay for kickoff. That that's that needs to happen. It should have been like that the whole season, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, uh the next three drives, nothing happened. Then Amari on third down for a sixty-yard run. He could have scored. We got tackled by two people. Then a good run by Keevan. And he had another almost touchdown. I mean, Keevan could have really had five touchdowns. That's three could have, that could have been his third one. But then Aiden, with a rushing touchdown, his fourth of the season. Fourth? Or his fifth of the season. PT good by Aiden. Kick off the south side high. Then a kickoff return touchdown by Jaden Colbert. There's one thing I didn't want I didn't want to happen in this game. Is to give Southside hope that this will be the KDN. God damn it. Hmm. It's fine though. They picked up in the second half. I bet you their fans are going crazy, think they had a chance to win this, but uh Southside don't have a defense. You know, they're just not gonna fly. But, uh, you know, sadly, this is the first time Kitty Ann has given up a, a, a kickoff return or, or, or a special teams touchdown since. It's Puka. Puka. And if you guys don't, 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 don't understand why I'm mad, just go look up Kitty Anna versus Hineville on YouTube. Type in that and put it in G Sports. Just watch that game, and you'll see why I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm mad. I could have had a ring, but we lost to someone. We lost to literally one person who scored all their points, and the kicker. Oh, that was four years ago, bro. Wow, it's hard to move too, bro. Anyway, sounds like I know they had hope right here. Because Kitty even got the ball back. And Dez, uh, he stepped out of bounds at like the 10 or the 20. And uh, Kitty, uh, Kitty, uh, Amari fumbled after the bad pitch by Aiden. <sighs> then Southside got it back. We recovered it. Got the ball back. They didn't put up no points. They should have, the coach should have kicked it. But in the, court, in the half, it was 10 to 14. Kitty, you know, up. that's a score I did not expect, bro. Like, man, I thought KDM was going to demolish. 
good things about demolish him. But Sasha showed up to play. Even though they, they, they their defense didn't show up to play the second half, I feel like Sasha really played the whole, like really came to play that the whole game, no matter what the score was. Third quarter, kick off the south side, no return. Then a good drive by south side. But a fumble, fumble force recovered by Matt Rubin, who's a sophomore. Finally found out who his name was, number 34. My goodness, a kid in got some young people on their team, bro. Got about, got about six people who's, seven, eight people who's starting who's a sophomore or less, which is just freaking insane. But then a touchdown by Russell was taken back. Man, Russell could play anything, bro. Play running back. Wide, he's running back. He's a running back wide receiver. He they probably might put him DB at the end of his. They whatever kitty whatever whatever y'all do, don't put Russell in that quarterback his senior year. That's all I'm gonna say. Put, keep him where some where he can get the ball thrown to him. What advice? But then Keevan. Which would have been his fourth touchdown that night. Was a yet again stopped. Due to a bad block. Pass to Russell for a big play on third down. Just keep making big plays, bro. TD run by Wiggins. KD ain't up 21 to 10. He got the south side in the return. Into the third quarter, 21 10. Then a KD Yana turned it up. Fourth quarter, punt to KD Yana, no return. Fumble by KD Yana, recovered by the baby doo 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 sharks to south side. Three and out by south side high. A big run by Amari Wiggins, which would have been an insane touchdown. He got the ball, got through the hole, did a juke, broke two tackles, trucked somebody. Then the person after that fell, and they shoestring string tackled him. He wanted that touchdown bad. But it set up Aiden. Have a big run, which set up Keevan for a touchdown run, which would have been his fifth. Would have been his fifth touchdown. That would have been his fifth touchdown, bro. If only, if only, he was just like a tad bit faster. That was dead in my neck. He was scoring that. Boy, if he was a tad bit faster, he would have five touchdowns tonight. And if some of these running backs would got their blocks, but it's all good in the hood. Three and out by Sulphur. 30 yard run by Kidiana. TD run by Aiden. His third touchdown of the night. He's getting better week after week. But the real question is, though, Aiden, if you're watching this, the way you play, the way you played this week, can you play like that against a team that's real competition? Not that Southside is not competition. Southside is competition. Just that their defense is not good. Can Aiden play like this against a team of competition? We we'll have to see, cause Katie, cause I'm gonna be honest, Katie is gonna a team like Southside, Katie is gonna be playing teams like that the rest of the regular season. And when I say that, I mean like good offense, defense not good, well, except for Nish, and uh, yeah, cause Barb they got a good offense, they put up points. Sam Houston, I don't know what's going on with Sam Houston. If you watch my first Katie in video this season, I thought Sam Houston could be a team to watch out for, but I was wrong. Uh, but yeah, Southside, next they're going to play Sulphur. Uh, I'm going to give them my prediction for that game. I'm I'm going to go with Southside for the, the third, 28, uh, Sulphur 17. Then got Sam Houston, Lafayette, Como, and New Iberia. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. They moved to 2-3. and three. Though they lost, they still had a chance to make the playoffs. So does every team in this whole damn district. Except for Nish, probably. Yeah, their quarterback did a damn good job. I, lo I lost my stat sheet. But their quarterback, man, he showed no fear during that game. What? You feel my time on? He showed no fear during the freaking game, bro. He really impressed me. And he went, he he knew he wasn't even that big. He looked like he about, he like he's probably like six feet. And he wasn't even that big, man. He looked like he about one sixty. And you know he juke he he juke Walter. Uh, Malik showed up during this game, bro. Malik had like seven tackles. Malik really showed up. And Malik didn't really give up no big plays. Uh, him and Dom didn't give up no big plays. Uh, and that's a good, that's, that's, that's a good thing because Southside got some dynamic players. But, you know, Malik and Dom, they did their thing. They did their thing. 
uh, Damo would give him two touchdowns, but he did his thing the whole game. I think Southside only uh, completed like one pass. No, two passes. One of them was a curl route, the other one I can't remember. Really don't care. Uh, I don't I care. But, you know, I'm just really anxious to see how he ain't gonna do the rest of the season. You know, this was good, but this was Southside. And he's probably gonna be playing like this the rest of the season. But once the playoff starts, that's when the, that's, that's, that's when the real come out. That's when the real come out. And the playoffs might be tough. But yeah, Southside, good luck to y'all. I know y'all's going, I know y'all's going insanely crazy on the sideline, sideline, but, uh, second half, second half, you got your butt. But yeah, three years in a row, domination. Oh, I gotta improve, bro. There's no reason why Southside didn't put it on the ground. I'm not even joking. I rewatched the game. I can't. I can't tell you one time when anyone was on the back from the O-line. I'm not even joking. That I can remember. But the O-line gotta improve because we be going up against some good D-lines. Nish is the best. Nish probably will be the next, the next best defensive line uh, KDN is gonna face because they, they got two of their stars back from last season. Who will be seniors? Things Quentin Cook and uh, can't remember the other one. But yeah, got to improve on the whole line. That's pretty much that's that's really all we got to improve on. To be honest, you know, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Got four videos coming out this week. Yeah, four videos coming out this week. I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is. For what we, I know, uh. Tomorrow coming out. It's Como. I really wish I could watch that game. I'm about to watch on Facebook. I don't want to go to it, to be honest. So I'd rather stay home. I could just watch on Facebook. But, shout out. Good luck to y'all, man. Y'all did good. Though it shouldn't have been that damn close. But it's, it's different to get a young team. Still trying to find a groove. Can't rush them. Shout out. I gotta let y'all know something, dog. You can do the honors. I want to stay silent. <laughs>